everybody. Welcome to Drew's News, your all-you-can-eat news buffet full of fresh, good news itarian options. <laughs> and with me at the desk, a true buffet connoisseur, Ross Matthews. Well, now that's true. I do love a buffet. You love Hi, a buffet. I love a buffet. What's your number one buffet tip, Ross? Well, I like that you can go all the way around the world. You can have egg roll and spaghetti all in one place. Thank you, buffets. I have missed you. I, I will make you fall in love with buffets, Drew. I promise I'm the man to do it. I got the elastic pants and ready to go. <laughs> all right, let's dig into our extra special edition of Food News. Yeah! <laughs> Food News. We're talking about the next here in food. There's a food innovation that you can try out right now just across the river in Jersey City. Fox Business reports that the Newport Center Mall has just installed a hamburger vending machine. It's oh called Robo Burger <laughs> and it cooks up fresh burgers made to order in just six minutes. The robot grills your patty, toasts your bun, and then squirts your burger with some condiments. Ross? Yes. Thought. Well, you know, there are inventions where you always remember where you were the first time you heard about them. This is one of those inventions. <laughs> Robo Burger, welcome to the family. And I say this as somebody who worked at McDonald's. I talk about it proudly here. I know how to assemble a hamburger. Triple threat. Triple threat. Register, drive through, and grill. Thank you very much. <laughs> and so I'm watching that. Were you guys watching that Robo do its thing on there? I like your technique, Robo. You know how to make a burger. I would eat one of these. They, so imagine this, it's like frozen patties in there. They're grilling them to your specifications, how you want it. Would you try a Robo burger? I would. I like, and I like burgers occasionally, and I like veggie burgers. So yeah. I hope they have both options because I'm a super flexitarian. Yeah. What's next? Do you think there's going to be a Robo taco? I mean, it, oh possibly. Oh my God. Why? I mean, it's endless. Wait a minute. Why can't we have like Robo baked potato bar? Thank you. You're a, <laughs> you're a genius, Drew Barrymore. Do you remember the Jetsons? And we we're always like, when are we going to live in that time? Well, welcome to the future, everybody. That's right. That's right, Rossi. All right. Well, now we've got a unique dining experience that could be coming to a city near you, other than Robo Burger. Good News Network reports you can now get a gourmet meal cooked over hot molten lava. What? Now, if you like hibachi but wish it was just more extreme, then this meal is for you. It was created by Bompas and Parr, an innovative food group out of London, and they hosted the first lava dinner in an ancient canyon in Saudi Arabia. They wow. know how to do it. Fancy. Uh -huh. Guests ate steaks and fish charred over fresh, hot lava. Where do you even get lava? I don't know. But it, you know the degree that lava is? It's like 2,462 degrees Fahrenheit. That's hot. And you know what they had for dessert? Chocolate lava cake. Hello. I mean, perfect. Perfect. Has anyone here ever, like, deep fried a turkey? <laughs> Raise your hand if you have. This one over here, you did, Wait, right? Where? In the pink where? shirt? Right here, right here in the front corner. Oh, my gosh. May I ask what your name is? Lori. Lori, how did it go when you deep fried a turkey? Well, my ex-husband did it, but it was really good. I always wanted to attempt the um, fried turkey and the hot oh, yeah. oil, but all I ever heard was like how, you know, people can like lose finger. I mean, it's like so dangerous. Uh -huh. yes. um, and, and I'm scared and yet I really want to try it because God, I'll eat a shoe that's been deep fried. For sure. <laughs> what about next year? But I'm scared and, and this, this, gives me the lava. I'm like, I need a, a panic attack medicine. Yeah. How, who's, who's it's slinging lava around like the deep fried turkeys? This <laughs> takes it way too far. You would, would you try it, the lava? No, I never even tried the deep fried turkey because I'm too scared. Oh, I would totally try the lava. And I just have to say next Thanksgiving, we should get a deep fryer and a turkey because I'll get in there. Gobble, gobble. I'll get in there, yes. Drew. Let's do it. What do you think? Should I try it? Yes. Yes. Maybe you'll come back for, where do you live? Boston. That's not far. No. Maybe you could come back for Thanksgiving and we could have a, uh, are you single? Yes. Me too. Awesome. <laughs> so we could have a single ladies, like, uh, turkey fry. That would be awesome. <laughs> All right. Let's do it. Single ladies turkey fry. <laughs> yeah. It's a movie. The annual single ladies turkey fry. It's on. <laughs>